In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to solve equations involving absolute values. When solving equations or inequalities that involve absolute value, the following three principles will be useful. In this video, we'll be focusing on this first principle. And this states that if a is greater than zero, then the absolute of x is equal to a if and only if x is equal to plus or minus a. That being said, let's start with question one. Question one asks, solve the absolute of x minus eight is equal to four for x. Now to do this, the two steps must be followed. A, separate the equation or inequality into two cases and remove the absolute values. So our first case will be the positive case and our next case will be the negative case. In the positive case, this four will remain positive and in the negative case, this four will revert to negative four. Let's start off by solving it when it's positive. X minus eight is equal to four. Notice how the absolutes have been removed. Four plus eight is equal to X and that gives us 12. In the negative case, X minus eight is equal to negative four. If we solve for X here, we end up with negative four plus eight. And this gives us a value of X is equal to four. So in this particular example, this is satisfied when x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 4. And to prove that, all you have to do is substitute these two values into the equation, and you will always get 4. Let's move on to question number 2. In question number 2, they're expecting us to solve the absolute of 2x minus 5 is equal to 3. Now once again, we'll follow these two steps. We'll have a positive case, and we'll have a negative case. In the positive case, this will remain positive. And in the negative case, that will remain negative. Solving for x, we bring this over. 3 plus 5, divide both sides by 2. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4. And in this case, bringing this 5 over gives you positive 2 on the right side. And on the left side, this remains the way it is. x is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So once again, this is satisfied when x is equal to 4 and when x is equal to 1. So there you have it. That is how to solve equations involving absolute values. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.